So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Feedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, former WBC Cruiserweight Champion Tony Bell, says that he considered a fight with former Unified Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fiore. He says that they spoke to Team Fiore, his team spoke to Team Fiore, and he was considered... But we don't know when Tyson Fury will be back in the ring. Me personally, I don't see Tyson Fury back in the ring this year. He still has this whole UCAD situation that keeps getting adjourned in court. So we just don't know what's going to happen with him. It's been long and drawn out. Tyson Fury still isn't really in fighting shape to be coming back. And at the end of the day, he's been out of the ring since November 2015. Since he won the Unified Heavyweight titles off Vladimir Klitschko. So he needs tune-up fights. And to quote Tony Bell, you hear, he says, um, let me just get it up, he says, he was considered, my people spoke to his people, so he was an option. I know what you're going to say, he's a giant of a man, he's massive, he is one of the biggest, yes, but he's not a huge puncher, and in the shape he's in, I'm probably picking on a guy who's possibly fatter than me. Possibly fat, oh fucking hell, he's definitely fat, but anyway, I will take it on board, there are possibilities of that happening, yes there is. I'll be totally honest, when I get in there with Tyson Fury that beat Vladimir Klitschko, absolutely not, no. When I get in there with the 25 stone fella that's walking around now, absolutely yes. Like, why would Tony Bell you say stuff like this? Why would he say, I wouldn't fight an in-shape Tyson Fury, but I'll fight an out-of-shape Tyson Fury? Like, obviously people are going to say he's an idiot for saying stuff like that. Like, people are going to say that's an unfair advantage, you're taking on a guy who's out of shape, who hasn't been in the ring for two years. He's going to get less credit for beating somebody like Tyson Fury like that than he did when he beat an injured David Hay. Like, people still ain't giving Tony Bowie the credit after he beat David Hay, but after David Hay got injured in the fight. And at the end of the day, you got to look at it from the other perspective that Tony Bowie did survive the six rounds before the injury on David Hay because David Hay did say he was going to destroy Tony Bowie in a round or two, and that didn't happen. So you got to give Tony Bowie the credit but then you look at other people's perspectives when they say that he only beat Hay because Hay was injured and that Hay was winning the fight, in which he was. So there's two perspectives to look at, really, at the end of the day. But I wouldn't want to see Tony Bell, you fight Tyson Fury. An in-shape Tyson Fury would absolutely box the head off of Tony Bell, you. Possibly even stop him. Because Tyson Fury is so much bigger than Tony Bellew in terms of height and size. And the reach advantage would be ridiculous. Vladimir Klitschko couldn't get close to Tyson Fury. Imagine how close Tony Bellew could get. He wouldn't get close at all to a Tyson Fury. He'd just get picked off all night long. But do you really want to see an out of shape Tyson Fury fight Tony Bellew? That wouldn't happen. Anyway, because the Furies ain't stupid. They wouldn't go into a fight with Tony Bellew on pay-per-view out of shape. Like, that just wouldn't happen. I think if Tyson Fury came back, he'd have to get himself into shape first. He knows this. His trainer, Peter Fury, knows this. So, at the end of the day, it's a fight that I wouldn't want to see personally. I think Tony Bellew should give David Hay the rematch. Apparently, that is being talked about as well. That's what Eddie Hearn wants. And if David Hay can get himself fit by November or December, then we could definitely see that fight. And it'd be a very interesting fight to see if David Hay can go again, to see if the injuries flare up again. Can Tony Bellew prove it wasn't a fluke? And obviously there, Tony Bellew could have a possible fight with WBO heavyweight champion Joseph Parker or WBC champion John A. Wilder. Like, there are options out there for Tony Bellew, but... I don't see the point in Tony Bellew taking on somebody like Tyson Fury, especially if Tyson Fury isn't in any shape, any type of good shape for the fight. But at the end of the day, we don't know when Tyson Fury's back. So all these people saying they'd fight Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury saying he's going to fight seven, so it doesn't matter at the minute. It's all irrelevant because we don't know when Tyson Fury's going to get back in the ring because of this UCAD situation and the doping allegations and that the court case keeps getting adjourned. We just don't know what's going to happen at the moment. So all this is just hearsay. But yeah, Tony Bell is saying that he considered a fight with 
Tyson Fury and that he'd still consider a fight with Tyson Fury. He sees Tyson Fury as easy pickings if he's out of shape, but in shape, he wouldn't get in the ring with him. So it's the way you look at it at the end of the day. It's JM, it's Sweetboxing.